what Eastern Kentucky lawyer Eric Kahn did was illegal. But when he defrauded more than a half a billion dollars from Social Security, was it morally bankrupt? Certainly. Lexington attorney Scott White once represented Kahn. Whether that's 10 people or 1,490 that have legitimate claims and should have received disability benefits. But most are no longer receiving those, and it's due mainly to their involvement with Kahn. And therefore, the disability benefits were immediately revoked. Even if they weren't fraudulent. Even if they weren't fraudulent. But for attorney Ned Pillersdorf, who represents many of Kahn's former clients. He's had a nationwide negative effect with this outrageous annex. Eric Kahn deserves most of the blame for the role he played in helping to swindle the federal government. He routinely did not submit important medical records. And now we know why. It's because he didn't have to. In this case, he had a judge, David Darty, helping him ram these claims through, more than 3,100 of them, for a cut of the action, of course. Darty is now serving four years for his involvement. I mean, the only guy who got rich in all this is Eric Kahn and maybe Judge Daughtery. I don't think there's any question Eric Kahn has done more damage to the, the legal profession than any lawyer in the history of this, of this nation. And while Mr. Pillersdorf might be right about the damage done by Kahn to the legal profession, it pales in comparison to the impact this has all had on the more than 1,500 victims. Yes. Cheryl Martin of Dana in Floyd County is one of the 1,539. She looks well despite battling stage four lung cancer, and she's actually one of the lucky ones. You know, they can't argue with me that I'm old. So when her disability benefits, about $1,000 a month, disappeared in the wake of this scandal, Social Security kicked in to cover the difference. A lot of these people are a lot younger than I am, and you know, so they don't have that benefit. And without it, some of them saw no way out. There's other people involved in this that, have, that whose family members have committed suicide. Like Emma Burchett, who works for the Floyd County Chronicle and Times. We had no means uh, to pay for his medications or for him to go to the doctor. So her husband stopped taking those medications, despite Emma's plea not to, and then he killed himself. And to just stop taking it abruptly like that, it, the, well, obviously the ramifications were Horrific. Khan's failure to realize the horror, even as he scribbled his musings in a 42-page letter from prison, is what most bothers Pillersdorf. And the lawyer who for years advertised that he cared about these people couldn't find the time to say one word in those 42 pages. Probably comes back to the original question. I don't think he necessarily feels that bad for the people that now claim that their disability has been improperly taken away because he got, he did his job for him. He got them their disability. I never left. But he did it in a way that could now land him in prison for life. Many of those left in his wake have received a life sentence of a much different kind. Covering the news in Floyd County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.